Wake up. It's Brian and Tracy. And Chris Stapleton, think I'm in love with you. I'm excited about the news of uh, him and the duet that he's doing with George Strait. It's good. I just heard it. I oh. If you love if you love George Strait, you're going to love this. It's yeah. it's really good. Uh, it, it is just around the corner. Uh, looking forward to that song getting released mm-hmm. uh, to radio. At least I certainly hope it will be. It's exciting stuff. Mm-hmm. Hey, something else that's just around the corner. It's our Hornet Nation Coaches Show tonight. <laughs> Chick-fil-A on the I-45 Frontage Road in Huntsville will be hosting the event. Uh, Carlos Zimmerman and uh, Brian Adams and Coach Rodney Southern, as well as some football players and some other special guests, will be there tonight. We want you in the dining room to be our special guest to enjoy all things Hornet Nation tonight. We will be broadcasting live on 101.7 KCM beginning at 7 o'clock this evening, but we want a big old rowdy Hornet crowd in Chick-fil-A tonight at 7 o'clock. It's all about Hornet football at the Coaches Show. So we'll see you there. Stinging Hornets. By the green, a damn good day to leave on 101.7 KSAM. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. Glad to have you with me on the Midday Show. Your weather forecast on the way. Parker McCollum and Jelly Roll coming up as well, ladies and gentlemen. Well, our annual study has been done, and it's not our, but an annual study has been done, and it has found the happiest states in the Union, the United States, in 2024. All 50 states were ranked based on 30 different metrics like emotional and physical health, unemployment, life expectancy, and other factors as well. The 10 happiest states in the United States. Starting at number 10, Massachusetts. Number 9, Nebraska. Number 8, Idaho. Number 7, Connecticut. Number 6, Minnesota. Number 5, Delaware. Number 4, Utah. Number 3, New Jersey. Number 2, Maryland. And the number 1 state in the United States is Hawaii. The 10 least happy are number 10, Kentucky, number 9, Mississippi, number 8, Oklahoma, number 7, Alabama, number 6, Alaska, number 5, New Mexico, number 4, Tennessee, number 3, West Virginia, number 2, Arkansas. The least happy state in the United States is our neighbors to the east, Louisiana. Right in the middle, the 25th state on that poll, which apparently doesn't lean happy or unhappy, Arizona. Huh. Travis Tritt, tell me I was dreaming on 101.7 KSAM. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. Glad to have you with me in the greatest hour of country music, 90s at noon. Your weather forecast on the way. George Strait, along with the tractors, still to come this hour. Here's a food story for you with the NFL returning yesterday. What a fun day it was for you Texans and Cowboys fans out there. Well, there's a website called sportscasting.com. How about that? NFL fans will have to pay $15.02 for a beer and hot dog at stadiums this season. Now, not all prices are the same. And here are the stadiums where a brew and a dog cost the most. You want to go up to Seattle, cheer on the Seahawks. It'll cost you just a touch under $20 for a beer and a hot dog. $19.98. Both the LA Rams and the LA Chargers, because they play in the same stadium in SoFi out there in California, $19.49. And the Chicago Bears, New Orleans Saints, and Jacksonville Jaguars, they are basically all at $19 flat. New Orleans has the most expensive beers at $12, while the priciest hot dogs are in Seattle and in Los Angeles at $8.49. Now, here are the stadiums where beer and a hot dog the least are. Uh, At the Atlanta Falcons, $7.49. Miami, just a touch under $10 at $9.98. And the Baltimore Ravens, Detroit Lions, and the Houston Texans all come in at just under $12 for both a beer and a hot dog. How about that? Go Texans. Notice how the Cowboys weren't on that list? Hey, everyone everyone should know by now. I've been here four years. I'm a Texans guy. Go Texans. We'll see you guys up in the... Dallas area later this season. Thomas Rhett, it's beautiful as you on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. Good afternoon, I'm Big Line Edwards. Your forecast is coming up. So, uh, at what age does life get real? Okay, think about that for a brief moment. Well, a study of four different generations, uh, boomers, Gen Xers, millennials, and Gen Zers, found that in their experience, adulthood really starts at the age of 27. Now, in theory, you're paying all of your own bills, you're financially independent, and you're putting responsibilities over having fun. 
You're also paying for your own insurance, not on your parents' family plans. And then you're laying the groundwork, of course, to support yourself and your family into the future. And you can finally be trusted with a credit card. <laughs> oh, and you know how to do the laundry too, right? Uh, quite honestly, though, older folks, we sometimes make fun of the younger generation struggling with adulting. But really, 42% of people across all the generations say they found that being an adult is harder than they expected it to be. Well, of course, that's why they call it adulting. <laughs>